Cody. Cody joins us live from the German Deli to check out all the authentic German products they offer. Hey, buddy. That's right. The German Deli, babe. The German Deli. Me. That's Allison right there. She's my new best friend. You know why? Because she's been giving me the best cold cuts I've ever had in my whole entire life, been feeding them to me all morning long. Good morning. Thanks for having us out. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. What's this? This is a pastrami for a Reuben sandwich that we're going to make you. <laughs> well, I don't mind if I do. Okay, so look at this display case. I just want to show this to you real quick. This has been here, we think, the, the entire time. Uh, it's, uh, the, the store is 50 years old. Okay, so it's in a it's in a little spot where in the past somebody has run through this with their car. Now this thing is so strong, it's so powerful. This is where the car hit it. That dent right there, it did nothing to the freezer and the fridge. The car was totaled. All right, let's go back because we got to talk to Katie about making her sauerkraut. Now this is famous everywhere for the sauerkraut. People love this. Sweet kraut. Sweet kraut. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've all probably had sauerkraut and a hot dog and stuff like that. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Hello, Katie. Hi. Okay, so what's in what's in your sauerkraut? So there's bacon. We cook it with bacon. In the sauerkraut, it's not sour, it's sweet. So we use sugar, we use a little bit of pepper, and we mix it all together and it sits on the burner with some seasonings as well. Um, for a few hours, it takes about seven hours for us to finish it. But that's the, the, the difference of it is it's sweet. You won't find anything like it in Sacramento because it's our recipe. Ha! Take that <laughs> other places with sauerkraut and sweet kraut. And you see she's already started putting it together. Now, you have to do this constantly, right? How many, how many of the uh, things are there? When we're slow, we have to do it maybe once or, uh, once a week. When it's busy like it is now because of Oktoberfest season, we make it about twice or three times a week. What? Mm. What? It's, it's a process, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's you popular, see, though. The, the bacon's cooking right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, we're making some sauerkraut. Uh, we're also going to try the cheeses because I hear your, your cheese supply is spectacular. Oh, yeah. We have cheeses that you also won't find anywhere else in Sacramento. We get them from different vendors. We try to stay as authentic as we can. We get as many Bavarian and Austrian German cheeses that we can. Um, and yeah. all of them you can sample here, too. We are willing to give you some, some tries. Fantastic. <laughs> We've been trying it this morning. I'm telling you, this place is so much fun. Uh, by the way, Little Birdie told me that their Christmas stuff is coming soon. We're going to have to come back for the Christmas stuff. All right, so coming up in the next hit, we will try the stinkiest cheese we've ever smelled to see what they taste like. Stick around. More from the German deli. Yeah. The. Thanks, right. Code. All right. Time now is 8.50. In the next hour, we're going to meet a local.